G'day, I'm Brad. And I'm Hayley. And this is our Australia trip. another episode we finally made it to Yapoon the weather is amazing the spirits are high <laughs> <laughs> the sun is out finally <laughs> and we're about to go and walk up that headland over there she's a monster Bluff we're, point we're actually gonna go for a leisurely stroll up to the top and then Brad reckons he's gonna run down for a bit of exercise <laughs> We're super excited as well because we just booked a boat trip tomorrow. We're going out to Great Keppel Island. So we have lots of fun things in store this episode. I think that's Great Keppel Island out there. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll figure that out tomorrow. at Keppel Island this morning. We got up bright and early to catch the first boat over and a little extra surprise we didn't know about, we get free coffee with our tickets. So we touched down on the island, went straight to the coffee shop, picked up our coffees and now we're ready to explore. She's a bit fresh out so yeah, luckily we bought our coffee jacket. is um, very welcoming. <laughs> and what was it? $70 per person and yeah, that includes and that, lunch at the bar. Yeah today. that's your tr trip over, return trip back, lunch at the bar and a drink and now we find and out a coffee. a coffee too. Mate, Highly recommend. <laughs> Usually when you come to these places you just get absolutely oh, taken for a ride. I know, the... I was kind of worried about doing an island trip at how much money we'd have to spend but <laughs> $70 for a person for, for all perks of this. just keep coming. Yeah. <laughs> how nice is that? This is what we came for. A nice change compared to the muddy bays we've been seeing recently. <laughs> Are they Maltesers or licorice bullets? They look like little black jelly beans. Oh, little black jelly beans. I love them ones. <laughs> Alright, let's grab a handful. <laughs> they didn't taste like jelly Now, we've made it to the highest peak on Great Keppel Island. This is Mount Wyndham. And Great Keppel Island was home to around 60 and 80 Aboriginal people from the Wapabara tribes. That was up until about 1900s when they were all either forcibly removed or killed off the island. And what they used the island for, the European settlers used it for running sheep. And this um, lookout here, or this mountain, was named after a guy that they put on the island to look after the stock. And he actually left the island when he found out that Aboriginal people were being mistreated and, and removed from the island forcibly. forcibly. Um, so it's quite good that they've named this after a European that wasn't a prick, <laughs> to say the least. And this Great Keppel Island is um, the biggest island of the 18 islands in this chain. And uh, as you can see, there's absolutely spectacular views from up here. The walk probably took about an hour from where we got dropped off at the main resort area and uh, it was about 4Ks to get up here.
was it? So good. I saw a turtle. I was swimming out there. It was a bit cold, but because it's kind of swim out, you warm up. And then I got out there and I was just looking at the coral. Not as colourful as what I thought, but still alright. I started seeing some colourful fish. And I was like, oh yeah, not bad. But then I went to this other section right on the edge and I saw this like big shape and I swam towards it and it was a turtle. <laughs> it was so cool. I was swimming with the turtle. <laughs> you love turtles. I love it. Love it. <laughs> That's all. Well, that was a good day at the island. So much fun. Except for we went to the island and we forgot to do one thing. <gasps> it rhymes with computer pizza for butter. <laughs> we'll just have to go back and have one at the van. <laughs> it's just what I need after a long day on the island. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's so good. I tell you what, it's a bloody trial by fire. I never towed a van through anything like this. Hang on. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> that was a lot deeper than what I thought. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bloody hell, we made it to Notch Point. We didn't really feel much coming in because I was having anxiety attacks about how tight and the track was. I'd never towed anything through tracks like that before and it was really daunting for the first time, but like towing in general, I think I'll get used to it as time goes on. Hopefully that's like the nerves got out of the road. It was a lot of fun, but I couldn't have any fun because I was just freaking out about smashing the side of the van on some tree that I couldn't see. I'll mean, tell you what, thank God for the clear views because they made they made it so much easier. But um, Notch Point, how good is this? There's like cows walking around, there's fires on the beach. Oh, it's beautiful. That's our van just parked there. Yep, ready to ready to just cop a southerly buster tomorrow. <laughs> the wind is too in tomorrow. Hopefully the uh, the forecast doesn't live up to its expectations. <laughs> hey, you like a notch point so far, darling. Oh, this is a ripper spot. <laughs> and you've got the taste of Bundaberg in a cup. <laughs> that was the last of our Bundy rum. Oh. That that bottle that our friends gave us before we left three weeks ago, a litre bottle, we sculled it. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I reckon at least 75% of it was gone in the first week. <laughs> we went hard and then we, and then we freaked out. out a bit and we haven't really had much since. <laughs> oh, I love it. We parked on the southern side and there's a massive southerly blowing. We only parked here because it was the last spot we could get last night that was waterfront but just been for a walk this morning and I think the winds deterred a lot of people and a lot of people are left so there's quite a lot of waterfront real estate up for grabs so we're gonna pick up and shift over a couple hundred meters. Because we're getting blown away. Oh, you can't even open the door here without getting 
getting slammed on you. Alright, so we're leaving Notch Point. Um, we spent a few days here and we're gonna, actually going to leave a bit earlier than what we were supposed to. Uh, just because of the wind, we haven't been able to really do much. I mean, it's a beautiful place, but we're sort of just hunkered down in behind the van <laughs> the whole time. So, yeah, they call it the best free camper on the East Coast, so <laughs> you've got to come check it out anyway. Well, that's the first casualty of this poor driving. Well, it just got really deep on that left-hand side and then the step just sort of said, see you later. I think it still works. Just needs to be, there we go. <laughs> Is it all better? Yeah, oh, it needs replacing, but she's a bit bad, but it's all right. It'll do. Yeah. That was a bit of a hole there. <laughs> in and out of Notch Point uh, and we just got away with breaking a step and a foot on our jack up leg but that's the first self-inflicted damage you've had yet so far everything else is just broken because it's decided that it wants to break <laughs> so I'm not angry at that but next time maybe I'll go through the puddles a little bit more cautiously <laughs> all right where are we going next Mackay Mackay all right let's go Alright, well we made it to Bowen, seemingly we might have just teleported here but in actual fact ever since we got to Notch Point last Tuesday it's just been blowing a 30 km hour suddenly the whole time so Mackay was a bit of a ride off, Bowen's a little bit of a ride off. I just thought I'd jump in here to clarify that the towns of Mackay and Bowen aren't ride offs, it's just that the filming and weather conditions when we were there were, were a bit of a ride off. Um, we both loved the towns of Mackay, Mackay and Bowen. Mackay was like had a really beautiful CBD and beaches just outside of town that were really nice. And Bowen uh, like 
had heaps to offer, like snorkeling off the beach, a really cool pub, the Grand View Hotel. So if you're in town there, there's a lot of good history in there as well. Yeah. After we finished up in that area, we were going to go to Cape Hillsborough and the Whit Sundays. I was but, looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. Same. Um, we don't really plan much in advance though, and then when we went to book in there, we couldn't get in anywhere. So we're like, all right, we'll have to book that one in later. So we're going to. Um, we skipped it then, but we booked ahead and we'll stop into the Whit Sundays on the way back down the coast. So mm, that's yeah. why there's a bit of a gap in between. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we just pretty much. Skipped so we came to this beautiful beach at Bowen, expecting this. <laughs> Stitch up. It. Stitch up. Not it's a blowing a gale. It's no, overcast as. No blue has got to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> we bought our snorkeling equipment and everything. So apparently you can snorkel off the beach here. <laughs> we're operating on hopes and dreams. But we're still going to make the most of it. We'll go for a walk instead. This is strange. Hey, I've been saying we need a boat. We wanted a boat. This one looks alright. <laughs> Show us how you drive it. Yeah. What are you, two stroke or four stroke? Two stroke. Alright. I can't even hear it. Must be one of those new electric ones. That's a four stroke. <laughs> I mean, there's a bit of fixing up to do, but nothing a coat of paint can't fix, right? Comes with a free ore. What'd you call me? A free ore. Oh. Ah. Bit rude. Foot in here. Put a foot in my there. Right foot. Yeah. But then what do I do with my left foot? Put it in front of it. And how am I gonna get down? There we are. Okay. We'll worry about that in a minute. Don't pull me too far. No, I'm I'll not. Kick that bit. I'm not. I'm just gonna it. hold you. Come on. Don't let go of me. That doesn't look steady. Yeah. Hold me like this. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Got it easy. You ripper. Dead. I'm dead if I fall. Nah, not. I don't know if you should attempt that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take, stay on this roll. I'll take the GoPro up. Right? This can be my seat here. <laughs> Still good enough, I reckon. I've just called them. Who? The Westpac Rescue Helicopter. <laughs> You're done, buddy. Can I come this way? No. Um. I'll come over the other side and help you. I just had to come down the other way because this way was a bit too sketchy. <laughs> I didn't want to break my neck four weeks into the trip. Oh, okay. it usually puts a damper on things when that happens. Neck. Yeah, yeah, it usually does does put a bit of a damper on things. I'll come help you. Oh, saves the day. <laughs> Not much of a rock climber. <laughs> we'll make one out of you yet. Can you just dust your footprints off me back? Thanks. Yes, you're amazing. <laughs> uh, that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed the episode, consider subscribing if you haven't already. 
give us a thumbs up and even throw us a comment. I love replying to all you people that are <laughs> traveling or getting inspiration to travel or just watching because it's something different yeah. that you don't know, that you haven't seen before. Thanks, guys. Right. We'll see you a bit further north. Cheers.